Hi friends, welcome to the class of design and analysis of algorithms. Now we'll go to the next topic that is Prim's algorithm. So this is a one of the method which is used to find the minimum cost spanning tree. That is the shortest path that can be reached by visiting all the vertices in a graph. Of course, before entering into this Prim's algorithm, first we'll quickly review what is this minimum cost spanning tree. First we'll go for what is this minimum cost spanning tree? Now let us consider a graph. Graph G, V means number of vertices and number of edges. It, that is it consisting of be an undirected connected graph with vertices V and edge E. A subgraph, what is the resultant is subgraph or else which is a some sort of tree you can say where you cannot find any cycle where it consisting of same number of vertices but less number of edges compared to the original graph of the G is a spanning tree if G if T is a tree so from a graph you are getting a tree so that is spanning tree you are getting so how this spanning tree will be the problem is to generate a graph that is G dash of V comma E where E dash is a subset of E and G dash is a minimum spanning tree so G dash in the sense the resultant spanning tree you are getting see your input is a graph and output is a tree remember this point each and every edge will contain the given non-negative length. Now you will find the points like the vertices for each vertex to another vertex you will have some weight or cost which is of course non-negative. Sometimes you can take that as in uh, like in terms of distance or in terms of weights like this or sometimes in terms of cost. Length connect to all the nodes with edge present in set E dash and weight has to be minimum. So this is a spanning tree and minimum cost spanning tree means you need to visit all the vertices anyway we'll see that one also that is we have to visit all the nodes the subsetry any connected graph with n vertices must have at least n minus one edges and also it does not form a cycle whatever the result and you are getting it is a tree no that's why there should not be any cycle now you can see the cost of the tree is the sum of the cost of the edges so whatever the tree edges you are getting so you need to sum it up that is sum of all the edges you need to consider there are two methods to determine a minimum cost spanning tree. So you need to visit all the vertices such that the total cost should be minimum. So how to do this one? Here you have two methods. The first one is Prim's algorithm. The second one is Kruskal's algorithm. Now we are going to the Prim's algorithm. The method, what is this Prim's algorithm? How we can solve this, solve a graph using Prim's algorithm so that we'll get the output as minimum cost spanning tree. So that's what here we are doing. So we'll see this procedure, what happens in the Prim's algorithm first. It starts from an arbitrary vertex that maybe you call it as some, in output you call it as a root, no? Anyway, in tree, the first vertex that you are visiting, that will become root in a tree. At each state, add a new branch, that is the edge in a graph will become branch to the tree already constructed. The algorithm halts when all the vertices in the graph have been reached. So we'll see this example I have taken a graph here this is a graph where uh, seven number of vertices are there and from one vertex to another vertex like ed each edge has some weight I can call it as a weighted graph now we can see how to construct a minimum cost spanning tree by using Prim's algorithm we'll quickly see here okay so what happens in Prim's algorithm is you need to select the minimum cost edge among all the edges first Initial step is you need to consider or you need to visit the minimum cost edge among all the edges. By observing I can say that yes 1 to 6 is a minimum cost edge that is 10 I need to visit first. So I am visiting 1 to 6 ok anyway I am writing here so I will write here minimum cost is the cost totally what I will get is 10 plus now after visiting 1 to 6 now check the minimum cost spanning tree in that what are the worst vertices you have visited till now the vertex 1 you have visited and vertex 6 you have visited so vertex 1 and vertex 6 you have visited now observe the adjacence of 1 as well as 6 you need to consider the adjacence of 1 and 6 so adjacence of 1 is 2 that is the cost is 28 for 6 is 5 the cost is 25 so you need to consider all the adjacence of 1 and 6 that means already visited vertices you need to consider 
now from 1 this is 1 to 2 is a one edge 6 to 5 is another edge the cost is 28 here 25 you need to consider the minimum one so minimum is 25 so I'll consider that edge to be included in the tree like this you need to consider now here it is 10 now 10 now I consider this edge that is 25 now after that you can see now three vertices are visited now you need to consider the adjacence of these three vertices so for one what is the adjacence two that is 28 is the cost for six anyway two adjacents all are visited for five seven is there four is there the cost is 24 22 22 24 and 28 so among these three the sh shortest one is the minimum cost is 22 so that i am visiting next so like this it proceeds so 22 is the cost so i'll connect 22 now four vertices are there now the adjacency if i consider one two two that is 28 from six there are no edges which are not with not connected from five yes five to seven is there 22 and four to eight seven is there four to three is there now if you consider all adjacents 12 18 24 28 now among those which is the shortest one is four to three so that you need to visit next so the cost is 12 so like this you need to proceed now care must be taken that you should not find any cycle here okay whenever you connect one vertex to the another it should not form a cycle that you need to take care now coming to this one six five four three all the edges if i consider one two two twenty eight for six there is no edge like that which is not visited five to seven that is twenty four eighteen that is three to two sixteen so among all those things sixteen is the minimum one so i'll connect this sixteen so now cost is 16 like this you can see and you can see all the vertices are connected no one more vertex is there now again check it out so 1 2 2 28 and for the remaining also uh, 5 to 7 24 this is connected 4 to 7 18 and for 3 3 to 2 is there already connected 2 to 7 is there so 14 is there 28 is there 24 is there 18 is there so which which edge i need to consider shortest one that is two to seven i need to consider now i'll consider this one so now you check it out all the vertices are visited anyway if you want to check you can check it out what is the next vertex next if you consider 18 24 and 28 if i connect 18 it will be a cycle so i will not connect next one is 24 i will not connect it will be cycle and 1 to 2 I will not connect it is a cycle now you can see this is your minimum cost spanning tree by using Prim's algorithm so and I have not written here 14 so this total is the minimum cost that we will receive from the Prim's algorithm for this graph this is a respective minimum cost spanning tree